Yeah, first of all, we're very honored to be here uh, playing the championship game against a uh, big time two lane team uh, that has a great coach, great players, playing on their home field for the second time. Um, you know, I'm real proud of our team getting us here, and uh, we're excited about playing tomorrow. If you have questions for Coach, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone over to you. Just ask uh, for the uh, courtesy of the coach. Just introduce uh, yourself before your question. Coach, uh, Brandon Hellwood with Rivals.com. Just kind of just talk about this moment. Uh, I know all the players. This was when we talked to them in spring and preseason about the goal. You're here. Just talk about what they accomplished to get to this moment. Yeah, that, that was uh, the number one goal that uh, our leaders had, our team had, just to make it here play for a championship and uh, so the fact that we're here uh, you know there's uh, I'm, I'm real proud of our guys uh, you know they learned the right to be here and got a championship game tomorrow. Coach Jason Bean the Atlanta Sentinel this is a rematch like you said but you, is it dangerous to overthink rematches maybe try to do something different or what, what goes into the game plan? Like yeah this? you know I think it's a championship game it really doesn't matter what we played uh, before or not. I mean, it's, it's one or take all. Uh, both teams have earned the right to get here. We are familiar with each other, there's no doubt that we not just played each other, we played each other recently, but, uh, you know, they're a great team and uh, you know, we're excited to play them. Uh, Jude Papillon, Tulane Hullabaloo, are y'all doing the same things uh, in terms of routine as y'all's last match up here? Yeah. Uh, Pretty much, uh, we're not staying at the same hotel. We're staying a little bit different, but uh, you know, at least we're familiar with being here. I think that definitely helps too. Uh, Mark Kaplinger, also the two and all blue. Um, what can you tell us about what you've seen out of Michael Pratt and, his, and from this two and offense in general? Yeah, you can tell. I mean, I've been very impressed with him even last year. He's a tough guy. Um, you know, he has led his team uh, to a lot of wins. Uh, he can run. He can throw it. You can tell he's confident. He's a confident quarterback, and you know, he's a big guy too. Darren Stoltz, this West too. You've talked about how much you've been focusing on games week to week, but now with what's ahead of you, how do you focus on championship and a New Year's Six Bowl? We, we got our hands full tomorrow. I mean, the, the only thing that's on our mind is this game. You know, we'll worry about that afterwards. Uh, like I said, I mean, this is one of the better teams, I think, in college football, and we're playing on their home field. So, you know, we don't, we won't be thinking about anything else but them. Sharif Ochak, WDSU-TV in New Orleans. I know you guys are a tight-knit, you know, fraternity when it comes to coaches. The job that Willie Fritz has done the last two years, what do you think about what he's done in this conference for this university, going from 2 and 10 to 10 and 2? You know, he's got a great reputation as a, as a big-time coach. You know, even before he got here, and of course last year we played, and I think they only won two games. We got through playing them, and they were so well coached, and, and they were a really good team. And I knew they were going to improve, uh, but now here they are, and you know he, he won the, uh, which is much deserved the conference coach of the year, and I think he's up for the national coach of the year. I mean, I, the job he's done would be hard to, to top that. We know John Rice uh, has the hamstring from last week. Uh, we heard in the media this week saying he's going to give it a go. Can you update us on Friday how he is doing heading into this game? Every day he's, he's felt better. He's practiced. He's taken every snap like he would. He hadn't missed anything. Uh, you know, he's been managing that thing for a while anyway. So, uh, you know, I think that's a good thing. This is a championship game. I mean, so uh, he'll be ready to go. So in the last five games, I believe, Four out of the last five, you've had to play another quarterback. And both your other quarterbacks have played the four games. I know you want to try to maintain the red shirt for both. So what is the plan if John Rice can't go the full game? Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll do whatever it takes to win. I mean, that's a championship game, and that's what uh, you know, we've geared up for all year. Defensively, Coach, the last time these, you guys played them, you didn't have Jeremiah Jim Baptiste or Devon Wilson. How much is, how big is it that they're going to be back? On yeah, those are two of our defensive leaders. To have them back is a, a big shot in the arm, especially how good this team is on offense. I mean, they got uh, the player of the year and the running back. He's phenomenal. Their offensive line's really good. Their quarterback's good. They've got receivers that are very talented. So to have those two guys back for us is, uh, is really good. Coach, if this was two years from now, this game would be, you know, deciding who gets to go to the college football playoff with the news we had earlier this week. So how big is that for the sport? How excited are you to see the new 12-team playoff coming in a couple years? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a long time coming. I wish it would have been, you know, four or five years ago. It's best for college football. It's best for the fans and everything that goes with it.
Coach, just uh, tell, tell, talk to us a little bit about uh, Tulane running back Ty J Spears. I know he's really gone off the last couple weeks, had really excellent games. Uh, how difficult do you think it's going to be for the defense tomorrow to try to corral him? Yeah, you have to gain tackle. He has great lateral quickness. He can bounce things out. He's got very good speed. Uh, the first guy, you break tackles too. The first guy is usually that has a hard time tackling. So, you know, and then they've been really committed to getting the ball in the last two weeks. So we expect the same thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big challenge, a big challenge for our defense. To be here playing for a championship in year two, how does that fit into your plan for what you hoped and could see and what you can see in the future? Yeah, this is a program that expects to be in championship games when I took the job, and they've been a lot before I got here. And so second year, I think we're right on track. Obviously, it's a big game tomorrow, but uh, our program is going the right direction and has a really, really bright future. Coach, back here in the back by the cameras. I, this is the biggest game for a lot of your players that they've ever played in their careers. How do you keep them focused that this is just another game because that's how you're going to have to treat it in order to win? Yeah, um, you, you know, we, we do have some of our seniors that have actually won this game before, and I think that's helped, and they've been able to kind of talk to other players about, you know, what it takes and, and everything. So I think that's really helped. But, uh, you know, our guys, are they understand this is a huge game. Um, uh, they're looking forward to it. Coach, also back here by the camera. Talk about the atmosphere you're anticipating and this being one of probably the biggest games that we played on two ones games. Yeah. Um, you know, we expect it to be a great atmosphere, there's no doubt. I mean, anytime you're playing for a championship, I mean, you, you've got to expect that, you know, it's going to be a, uh, you know, electric type atmosphere. Uh, you know, that's what we expect, and we're, we're hoping we have quite a few of our fans here, too. Is, were there any moments this season, uh, I mean, I know there was a you know, disappointing loss at ECU, the guys had to root from there. What did you kind of see? At what point would this team really come together where you really felt uh, this was a championship uh, level of type team? Yeah, we, we knew we had a talented team coming this season, but anytime you have 16 transfers, the dynamics of everything in the new age of college football, uh, so we had some ups and downs throughout the season. I mean, this is a real conference. I mean, every game you have to bring your lunch. And, uh, you know, for us to get here through the ups and downs, I mean, you know, that's, uh, that's really a special thing. Coach, after the loss to Navy and then after a, a very close game to, you know, your rivals USF, what have you learned about your team in the last two weeks? Yeah, um, they're, they're very resilient. Um, you know, it's a tough loss and maybe there's no doubt had some opportunities, you know, we, we played two quarterbacks and of course last week I mean, we were up big and then they came back and actually took the lead and if the whole season was on the line and, you know, everyone knew it and the way they responded at the end and stopping them and then we drove the field, scored a touchdown at the end and, you know, that was really, that's hard to do in those type of situations so I think we've got a battle tested team. What's the plan for your players tonight? Will they be able to enjoy any of the New Orleans festivities <laughs> or will they be confined to the hotels? What's the, what's the game plan? No, we're not getting distracted, I'll tell you that. We're, uh, we're going to do our same routine and we're going to have bed check about 10.30 and we're going to get up have our normal meetings and uh, there won't be any festivities. Chris, you Sports Illustrated. How different are Mikey Keene and John Rice calling those quarterbacks, and what do you think they bring to the table, and does that affect the game plan at all? Yeah, you know, we really kept the same game plans. You know, when we, we played him, I mean, obviously John Rice can really run, and, but Mikey runs, uh, you know, sufficient enough. Uh, but, you know, really we don't change our offense that much as far as, um, you know, what's called. Any final questions, Coach? Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.